Hi there, I'm Kristen Van Ackmans, Editor-in-Chief of 29secrets.com, and today we are joined with Dr. Maurizio De Maio, who's an internationally renowned plastic surgeon, and we're going to be talking about facial treatments, including the Juvederm family of fillers. Thank you very much for having me here. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about how injectable fillers have changed over the years? I think it has changed completely from what it started, what I call the last century. Mm -hmm. So in the 80s, it was very common with collagen only to fill lines, right? Changing the nasal labial fold, for example. And currently, it seems that the role of injectable has expanded enormously. We have better products, we have better techniques, and today I would say that we are achieving surgical results with injectables, which is something that has no precedent. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. We're seeing injectable treatments becoming more mainstream. Why do you think that is? Now people know a little bit more about them. I think the media has helped a lot. Today, where they understand the role of fillers, that is to help and improve structural problems in their faces, they have becoming more and more frequent as a request in medical aesthetics. What are some of the common barriers your clients face? I think they fear unnatural results. The, the first thing, because when you look at magazines in the media, we see that the advertisements are quite more negative than positive. Over-injected cheeks, like chipmunk aspects or over-treated lips. Yeah. And when the patients or the consumers, they look at it, they say, well, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. And another thing that I believe they fear is also pain. They, they believe it's, it's a painful treatment. And none of this is currently true. What can somebody expect when they go to receive a treatment? I think the consultation is essential. Mm -hmm. So if you go to my office today, right, I would say that patients usually are asked by their doctors or injectors, uh, what areas would you like to treat? Then you, you have your complaints, right? You don't like your nasal labial folds, or you don't like your lines between your eyebrows. But what is interesting that I have noticed is treating what the patient wanted as areas did not mean that they were happy with the result, okay. which for me was a big question mark. And I usually say, look, but I treated exactly what you wanted. Why are you not happy? Then I started figuring out that maybe when you visit me looking for the correction of something in your face, in your mind, you want to achieve something different. So that's why the consultation nowadays has changed towards more talking about emotional attributes and what the messages of your face that you would like to change. Right. A given patient visits us, mm -hmm. complaining about a distraction on their face. And usually, it's related to aging process. So, when I was younger, I didn't have this line. Or when I was younger, I didn't have lines around my lips, right? So, this is what I called patient wants, okay? However, sometimes I looked at the patient and not necessarily what they pointed as areas would make them look better. That's what I call patient needs, the expert approach. So there is sometimes, or most of the time, misalignment. What you wanted versus what you needed, not necessarily uh, matched. So I introduced a concept of patient feels. So I show the patient a chart of messages of the face and I tell, what would you like to achieve with this treatment? So I open, possibilities. So, would you like to look less tired? Would you like to look less sad? Less saggy? Would you like to look younger? More attractive? Mm -hmm. And after that, patients would point out their main objective and knowing what's in their mind, we can then propose or open discussion the treatment planning. How does somebody know if injectable treatments such as fillers are right for them? First, you can look at the mirror and you can compare how you look now and how you used to look five or ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So if you compare both photos, right, you see changes. And it's very interesting because changing means 
increasing the amount of shadows that you have on your face. If we compare ourselves when we are 15, 20 years old, we have less shadows. And over the time, shadows, they increase. And what we uh, women usually do, they wear makeup. Do understand? And this type of concealer today can be given by fillers. And what exactly are facial fillers? If you could sort of explain that a little bit. So facial fillers, they are a type of a gel, right? Let me try to explain. We have water, we have ice. That's the same product, but when you lower the temperature, they change the physical state. And we have something called gel. They are for medical use. They are inserted into a syringe. And when you inject in a specific area, it promotes correction. So if you have concavities, if you have lines, or for example, if you have very thin lips, you inject this gel and it expands the tissue. And by expanding the tissue, it promotes what we call reshape, mm -hmm. right? So depending on the patient needs or depending on the patient feels like this, I want to look less tired, you look at this gel to improve the appearance of eye bags, for example, by restoring I would say the position under the eyes. Right. And who doesn't want to look less tired? So that's the Seriously. point. Seriously. Yeah, Christian, this is common sense, right? Yeah. So that's why when I show these emotional attributes, if you really look at them, they are eight, right? So everybody would like them, mm -hmm. all of them. What is difficult is having the patient prioritize. So depending on your age, depending on your moment of your life, you have a tendency to select one or the other. And you, together with your injector, you say, how can I use the best of the tools that we have nowadays, like fillers, to achieve that specific result? Right. Thank you so much, Dr. DeMaio. This was very fascinating. And good luck on your travels and, and this new treatment procedure. Thank you.